Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Video Truder, and welcome back to Hitman 2. Or to be precise, to Hitman 2 Sniper Assassin, because today, we have got ourselves a whole new sniper mission to take on. Just as a quick reminder, this isn't actually a usual Hitman 2 mission involving, you know, disguisers, sneaking in, taking people out with fiber wire, all of that good stuff. This was a little side mode. Once upon a time, Sniper Assassin was actually a little spin-off game, but in Hitman 2, they brought it back into the main franchise for the first time, which was absolutely flippin' fantastic. And when the game launched, we had this little mission in Austria. In fact, if I recall correctly, this actually came out slightly before Hitman 2. They kind of used it as a little teaser and hype builder, and it was a nice little bonus to have. And now, we've got ourselves a brand new map, over here, in Hand 2 Port. And I'm starting to wonder if there's a bit of an intentional reference going on to an older Hitman game, because big sniper focus, dockyards, shipping containers, massive ship right there. Are we intentionally doing a bit of a throwback to Deadly Cargo, which was in contracts in the original Hitman code name 47? I don't know, possibly. But first, we're going to be needing ourselves a little bit of context. So let's see what happened two days ago. Yang national poet has been kidnapped from his suburban home. Le Dong defected to the US during a meeting at the United Nations some years ago and has been living under witness protection ever since. Your targets are Jin Nu, Lom Kwai, and Ri Thak, three key members of Sun Po's military elite known as the Heavenly Guard. The three are in Singapore to secure Mr. and Mrs. Le Dong, who've been smuggled from the US in a shipping container. The Ladongs are expected to be transported back to Kandanyang for a public execution to celebrate the birthday of the country's dictator, Sun Po. The targets are preparing to transfer Ladong and his wife to an awaiting cargo ship. The three are under orders not to allow Han Ladong to escape again, so keep this one quiet, 47. Should the alarm be raised, we expect one or more of the targets to try to eliminate the hostages. They must survive for the mission to be a success. Good luck. All right, three targets need to be taken out. If the alarm is raised, that's not instant failure, but they will start trying to execute the people who must not die under any circumstances. And beyond that, they might actually be in the process of moving a shipping container onto a ship. And when that happens, my window of opportunity closes. Gotcha. Also, here's a fun bit of confirmed lore for you, because, you know, we actually get a bit of a profile of 47 here, because you can do this mission multiplayer when you're not playing as 47. So 47 actually gets a little aging card right here. So it turns out that officially, according to the in-game canon, 47 is always playing these games accident only. He is known for exclusively working with disappearances, accidents, and deaths of natural causes. Fine, so he's not just actually signed to Assassin, officially, he's accidents only too. So, things we can learn about the targets that might be of use to us. So Captain Ray Thack here, the only female target, very distinctive red hair and eye makeup. She's not actually much of a fighter, does some theatrical flourishes with a sword, isn't actually that skilled. Instead, highly persuasive, most important in her role for intelligence and counterintelligence. Okay then. Captain Lom Kwai, distinctive golden eye and scarring, a true believer in the regime, good at infiltration, nothing else of note about him in terms of personality. And Colonel Jin Nu, most noteworthy for being an extremely skilled up-close assassin, leader of the blades and that's supposed to be taken literally, he's damn good with a sword. So yeah, if Alarm gets raged, he'll probably be taking his sword and running straight to the hostages. Nothing much we can really use against them there, aside from, yeah, potentially the fact that Captain Ray Thack is apparently extremely persuasive, and unlike the other two, hasn't been part of the regime for her whole life. Instead, her family were actually killed, she was re-educated. So, if we keep an eye on her, maybe we can do something to turn them against each other. And here we go, 
15 minutes for the entire mission. So let's not try and necessarily do this first time. First up, all we need to do is figure out what's going on. So zoom in and... That is Captain Ree Thack, a.k.a. Spider Lily. All right, so she starts off close by to them. And obviously we've still got our intuition. But if the alarm is raised, everyone starts trying to execute the guys in purple. We don't want that. Not many guards, actually, compared to Austria. It doesn't feel like many at all. So, guards in yellow. Take down as many of them as we can, but it's not essential. Meanwhile, yeah, what else do we have here? That is... Who are you? Oh, you're just a worker. Fine. So, not everyone is a target. There's also neutrals around here. And I've got myself a sniper rifle, including... Ooh. All right. Well, that's something that's going to do something. I'm just going to take that out. Taking out the communications. What are you thinking, 47? Oh, I don't know, but I've done something to knock out their comms. And that's potentially of use, because now, if there were to be an alert, presumably, the others wouldn't know about it. So she starts off right there. In comes... That is Colonel Jin Nu, a.k.a. The Blade. Vicious and fanatical. Colonel Nu has orders to eliminate Ladong in case of an emergency. Ah, maybe it's just him that does the assassination. And of course, bear in mind... Uh, We've got ourselves a whole big pile of explosives going on here. And on top of that, yeah, we can actually make ourselves some water, some mm. electricity. Looks like Colonel New and Captain Thack are having a meeting of some sort, 47. All right, so they meet there. Now, any chance that's useful for any reason? Yeah. What have we got? And also, bear in mind, I've got a couple of different bits of ammo. I've got body piercing... I've got wall piercing, and I've got shockwave. Very, very nice indeed. All right. So he just comes down over here and has, presumably, a bit of a chat to these folks. All right. Or just has a look -see at them. He says something to her, but I can't hear what it is. All right. He walks off, but now... She's actually pulled out a little tablet and is doing something. What are you doing? Okay, trying to figure out what's going on. Now, gesturing. Right, are they now going to start being moved towards the boat? So they start here. He now walks off, yeah, towards the boat. And there's the other one. That is Captain Long Kwai, a.k.a. Dragon Eye. And his nickname after taking a bullet for the Heavenly Leader. More discussions from the colonel, who's just giving a bunch of orders. 47, I'm seeing movement. Spider Lily is escorting the hostages towards the ship. Yep, see that? Those two meet up there. And were you there the whole time in this spot? And by the way, is there anything we could maybe drop on you? Possibly. We might be able to drop, yeah, one of the boats. Let's just actually... If I put a bullet there... Yeah, that drops down straight away. Okay, that's fine. So, while he's standing there, we can actually take him out nice and easily with an accident. But, the corpse will be seen. That's fine. There are a bit suspicious of that, but nothing too major. Which was not actually in here. No, I can take out comms, but I don't actually see anyone in the window. So now, Spider Lily is over by Lom Kwai. And she's going to have a chat with him about something... I don't know, maybe the weather, it is raining a bit. Yep, she's really annoyed they didn't bring an umbrella. She said to bring umbrellas, and he said, no, the weather forecast says it's going to be sunny. And she's like, well, look around, is it sunny? You should have known, the weather forecast isn't always flipping right. And I could take out both of them right now with body-piercing ammo. But the guards will know, probably a bad idea. Now, while they're having a chat, where's the other guy? Okay, so he makes his way up to here. What's this? This is upstairs. Okay, upstairs from... I don't know. Are you actually going into... You're going past a bathroom. That might be of use. Okay, well, you're up there. These two are just having a chat with each other. He's now going to escort them into the ship. She's heading over to that. Ten minutes remaining. By any chance, are you willing to be... Ah! Okay... He's all on his own right now, I think. For some reason, he likes having a coffee by himself. The hostages are being transported to the ship. You need to act now. No, I don't. We're fine. So Long Kwai is taking them onto the ship. 
He's right there, and... Okay, just out of interest. Actually, no, I won't take the shot right now, because I want to see the full routine. So he now hangs out up here. That's at about 9 minutes 30. That's a good time to actually finish him off right there. Okay, she is... What's she doing? Why is she here with this big old pile of rubbish? Okay, she's really annoyed about the big pile of rubbish. Or possibly she's annoyed because the comms are down. I'm not sure. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. And bear in mind, people do get knocked back a bit of distance by a shot. So while this guy's close by to the edge, I could knock him into the water. And that's the body hit. And that's what we need to do ultimately. Where's everyone, by the way? Okay, now you're heading over here. Once again, nice easy shot at this guy. So the main colonel... Not too difficult to take him out while he's actually in that position in there. Although, hang on. No, you never come in there. So this is like his private quarters over here, which is very, very... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang the flip on. By any chance, if I was to actually shoot the rat poison, would that cause the rat's poison to fall down into the drink? Because that would be flipping hilarious. No, I just want to try that. Very impressive shooting, 47. But what are you hoping to achieve here? Has that actually done what I think it just did? Because that is now broken. Has the rat poison now fallen into the drink? Okay, we'll keep an eye on that. Because that might be how we get him into the bathroom. Where his body will never be found. Because otherwise, hang on, who's coming over now? Right, she's coming to see him in his office. And you are putting them into the shipping container. All right, fine. So now he's still there. She comes in. And there we go. But yeah, if he actually went to the bathroom, he'd be all on his own. Spot on. And then maybe also I could draw him into the bathroom by just, hello. Yes, I see you both in there. She's really annoyed about something. She's pointing. It's raining. I told you to bring the umbrellas. Why didn't you bring an umbrella? You said you had one in your bag, but you don't. Why would you lie to me? That's so unprofessional. The hostages have been secured inside the shipping container. You have to hurry, 47. Right, the hostages are now in there. Which arguably makes them safer. Because now you need to open up the shipping container to execute them. So, okay, back over to here. She's possibly complaining about the other one, Lom Kwai, for some reason. And then she naffs off. Now, are you about to have a sip of some coffee? By any chance. I just want him to drink from the coffee. Because that would be hilarious if you could shoot poison into the coffee. Also, where are you going now? Because no, boo, I was kind of hoping you might go over here. Now, I'm just going to guess if I shoot this. Yep, that causes that car to fall down. That's very, very useful indeed. And as for you, you're still over there. That's fine. We need to just do a little bit of reloading. So, Long Kwai is now coming back down from the boat. Spider Lily is now heading over here. You are all... The blade appears to be feeling quite ill. Oh, that's magnificent. That's actually magnificent. So, we can make him be ill. Because you can take him out in this building quite easily. But, Spider Lily will totally come and actually say hello. So, we've got to have him being nice and dead. So now he gets into a lovely position right over there. And now we just need to take him out. Spot on. All right. Good, good, good. So next up, we need to take her out. Aha, this time she's actually going into the room. There are just five minutes left of our window. And from here. Okay, hang on. Wall piercing ammo. And right now she's behind a wall and you need to not be in the way. Oh, hang on. We got a good shot right over here, in fact. And... Oh, no. It still needs to be wall piercing. Hang on. Boom. Dead. 47, the situation is about to become critical. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Absolutely. Not if he's dead. Okay. And target escaping. Which target? Oh, what do you mean escaping? Okay, they're evacuating, apparently. Um, what we'd like to do is... Dragon Boom! For an exit. No! Uh-oh, I thought that was going to be a big enough explosive. Where's he going? So he doesn't try and assassinate anyone. By the way, there's um, travel time on the, the bullets. Oh, hang on. 
No, gonna be too late for that, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. And... Boom! No! And... Where's he going? Is he going up those steps right over there? I don't know where the exit point is. And... Go! Oh! Close! Come on, I don't know where the exit is. He's supposedly going to the exit. Oh, it's a helicopter. Oh, that's no good. Okay. Last chance. Take out the wall piercing. Nice! Through the helicopter! Okay. Well, everyone's dead. Hostages must survive. And people are starting to flee. But none of them actually matter at this point, right? Because they're nice and snugly tucked away inside the actual thing. So, because there's an alert, everyone's now basically legging it. Uh, which is fine. Aside from the people who decided to try and take me out. Which is a very, very bad idea for them. Because I've got a sniper rifle and they don't. Yeah, bear in mind there is some travel time on the actual bullets. It takes a little bit of getting used to. That guy decided to try and shoot me. Should have run away like everybody else, my good man. Really should have run away. And you obviously more points for killing more people. Nice and fast. And go. Lovely. And moving killers worth a bit more headshots most of all though. Right, you. Hold still for a second. Ooh, good time to move out of the way. Good time to stop moving out of the way too. There you go. Goodbye. Oh, I'm getting the hang of the actual... Oh, hang on. Hang on. No, you don't. Oh, that's some multi-kills right there. Apparently the client's willing to pay more if we get some super awesome badass multi-kills. And you just change direction. About that. Oh, missed you. And go. Oh, that's not going to be even close. Come on, where are you going? Where are you going? You're, you're coming down over there, are you? Okay, and go. Oh, bloody hell. The Heavenly Guard has been taken care of. I'll get an extraction team to secure the hostages. Right, last one down there. That was a bit messy. That's fine. We can do better than that. That was just me learning how it all fits together. Also, this just gets me a handful of upgrades. So next time we can do a little bit better than that, okay? Let's sort this out properly this time. And also, let's just get very familiar with all the different things we can do. So for example, one shot over here will create a giant big thing of water right there. So there is now a pool of water right at that moment. And there is also right here, electricity. So that is now electricity. He walks over, he's electrocuted, but that's absolutely fine. That there is an accident. So that's a okay. Now is anyone else gonna potentially stumble across that? Because if anyone stumbles across that, they've got to, you know, not. So you, get down over there, and into the water. And that guy's suspicious, but if he doesn't see anything... No, no, he actually does call it in, fine. So, even civilians you need to be careful of. Gotcha. Well, while they're just running away, let's just figure out what's going on here. Here we go. So the blade is going towards the hostages. We knew about that. No, you're not going to actually deal with those hostages. Just FYI. What else do we have here? So there's a couple of electronic things around in that part of the world, and sadly, Dragon Eye is naffed off. Right, let's just make sure we know where everything is. Including, hello, there's a thing here on the crane. Oh. Well, isn't that interesting? Move crane, left or right. Oh. Oh, 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 right, okay. So that is... that's this thing. Okay, so in we go. So if I just actually put a bullet hmm. right there. What are you up to, 47? We're moving the actual little container. Oh, that's really cool. That's very, very cool indeed. Okay, hang on. Do we have time to actually get that into position right now? Where's the actual position it's in? Yeah, there's one. One, two, and three. Presumably it stops at... I don't know where it stops. Hang on. What do I have to do to stop it? And then if I shoot this one, presumably that is... Ah, is that just stop right there? Fine, that's just a stop point. And then hang on. No, 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 no. And down. And then... Oh, that's good stuff. Oh, I missed him though. 
I missed him. And also, it comes straight back up again. Right, but they're a bit freaked out by that. That's not enough of an accident for them to say, oh, well, doesn't matter. Instead, there's about to be an execution. And before he does, he's going to have a chat with them about, hey, I'm about to execute you with this sword. And there we go. He did it. But, you know, he gives you a moment's grace just in case. But now we know how it actually works, which is accidents in this mode aren't actually accidents. In this mode, accidents are still extremely suspicious. People don't like accidents. And that will actually cause a bit of panic. So people need to be picked off nice and quiet-like. Now those piles of rubbish, that acts as a place you can actually hide a body. So this guy, as he's walking past here... By the way, that is... Uh, yeah, that's just more explosives. So this guy walks past this pile of rubbish, shoots him. If he gets knocked in, that's actually a freebie because that's a free hide. And uh, are you going to help me demonstrate that? No, you've decided to actually walk away from that. Boo. Although actually, we can also open up... Yeah. What's going on in here? We can make that open up. Fine. So actually, there's locks that can be opened too. Right, what else do we have here? What else do we flipping have? We got plenty of plugs and whatnot. So plenty of electricity. And we've got more padlocks here as well. Right, I'm going to take off all the padlocks. Because now I'm just actually curious what's in all these different containers. Because some of them might have some fun stuff going on. Including... Oh! There was an evil rubber ducky there. I saw the evil rubber ducky. I'm going to shoot the evil rubber ducky. Oh! It's just burst. Right, well, it's blatantly evil, and that's not suspicious. That's all absolutely fine. Would you like to just actually hold still over there? Because you're a nice, easy, early pick-off, if you would. And... Head, water, job done. That should be hidden well enough for the time being. Yeah, lovely. Next up, we've got, yeah, more piles of rubbish. There's also explosives, all sorts. And... Uh, hello, I see... More padlocks. Sadly, that one didn't go anywhere. Right, keep going. Keep flipping going. There's got to be something in one of these. Though, actually, hang on. Those things... Ah, I see how it works. If I shoot somebody into... Ooh. Okay, that car had a bit of a wibble right there. If I shoot someone while they're looking at that, they'll be knocked inside and they won't be seen anymore. But let's just actually double check here. What's in all of these? So that's just basically, yeah, free ability to just hide a body, which is good. And you are... Oh, hang on. If you just like to hold still for a second, that's going to be a difficult shot to make, unfortunately. And yeah, I could blow up this guy, but that's actually a civilian, so... You know what? You're probably close enough by to... Yeah, you that are. Was quite the explosion, right. 47. So that's you killed. The now, arm. if there's... Ah, so any form of body nice found shot, is situation compromised. When you say situation compromised, how compromised are we talking? Because they don't actually seem to be... No, that's just a warning that you need to fix things up nice and quick. But is this guy about to find a body? Because now there are definitely some bodies dotted around somewhere. Or possibly he won't find. So just take that out. We've got... Oh, hello. Is that a... Ooh. That's a cannon. Okay. That's good. And that got everyone's attention because I just fired a cannon. Also, hello. What are we doing here? Ah, you're about to have a chat with this guy. Now, this has got to be the best moment to deal with both of them and potentially some bodyguards too. Because at this point, take you out, and then... Boom! Right there. Problem is, everyone's now suspicious, and I didn't actually have enough ready to go. Yeah, they're, they're evacuating. So that's a good way to take out both of them, but it's not exactly, uh, shall we say, supple at all. I think he's running for the hostages. Don't let him get to Ladong. And he's going to go for the hostages. Oh, he's right there. Luckily, he needs to give them a piece of his mind. So that means the hostages are now safe because no one else does the evacuation. Everyone else is now dead. Then it's just a case of picking off those guys. Got it. And as far as I can tell, they don't seem able to hit you. So yeah, now it's just a shooting gallery and picking off the guys as they flee. And that totally should have been a hit. There you go. All right, what else have we actually got here? There's this little satellite dish that presumably does something if it's still standing when she passes by. There's all the different boats... 
And then there's, yeah. Then there's this cool little thing with the crane right over here. And then there's, hello. Ooh! That's rather useful. So if you shoot that, then the little droppy downy barrier could potentially knock someone out. That's cool. Also, don't forget, I do actually have shockwave ammo, which is uh, very useful for just saying, screw it, everybody vaguely in that direction dies. Yeah, that's right, you can just flip it, die. Marvellous. And I don't know where he just went, but like there's a secret escape route around the back or something. So uh, yeah, I don't think you're going anywhere. Yep, that's enough to kill you. Shockwave ammo is a good, safe bet if you need someone to die for absolute certain. And Ooh, didn't get you that time though. That'll take care of you, mind. Oh, but hang on. Can we get this guy with this? And... Oh, sweet! Well I'm not convinced that would actually have killed him. But I kind of uppercut him with a barrier. So that's good. Now, more importantly, can we do things like, say, letting the tires down or blowing up the car? No. Best as I can tell, the car is actually immortal. That's a bit of a shame. Though, hang on, are you 100% sure you want to run this way? Because I'm not sure you do. <laughs> That's a good way to kill someone. Right there. As is exploding them. Nice. Right, not sure if that's worth more or less points than what I already had. Might be a handful more just because of the actual, uh, yeah, the environmental stuff there. Ah, but this works a bit differently to how it normally does. Those aren't just achievements, those are multipliers for the score. So let's figure out where the other two lads are right at the beginning here, which is... Okay, so Long Kwai begins up top, right by the shipping container where they're going to move the actual other uh, hostages. You actually begin over there. Hang on, you might all be grabbable with a single accident the moment this begins. Here we go. Have a little Luxie over here. Because, uh, yeah, we've actually got ourselves potentially the opportunity to pick off both him and his... Oh, hang on. That just missed everybody. Right, go and investigate that. And now... Okay, I'd like that to kill someone at some point. They're so confused right now. And don't seem at all aware of the fact there's like, you know, bullets flying near to them. I feel like that might be able to actually work. And also, yeah, when we open up that, he goes to investigate that. So once he's actually around there investigating that business, he goes in there and he's actually hidden. And then you can be knocked out. And then you are confused. And then I think that bounced off his sword. Did the bullet just bounce off his sword? Because I think it just did. Right, situation contained. Right, not actually a headshot, but he has been removed. That's absolutely fine. Now the question is, hang on, more buttons. I never can resist a button. So that opens up, aha, that's a place to hide this guy. So all the containers, all the buttons, many of them are about opening up places where I can actually hide these guys. And if I want them to hold still, then, hang on, did that, did that just close again? And that might have closed again. Okay, and then I want you to hold still, looking at that. And then I want you to... Oh, okay, that's only for a split second. Gotcha. Body found. Bullet. In it goes. Out of sight, out of mind. But someone does go over there. Fine, civilians do cause trouble and might find the bodies. That's why you want to be hiding the bodies. Okay, I'm starting to see how this all fits together now. So there's an easy opportunity to take out this guy. And that is the moment the mission begins. Let's just actually get over here. Slow down time a little bit. And in a moment. There we go. We've actually got poison inside the coffee. He is now guaranteed to get sick and throw up at some point. She'll come to the office anyway. And then that's a good time to actually take that out. That guy stands right there. Are you actually going to fall into the office or are you... No, that's officially deemed to be hidden. Basically, yeah, anything that's remotely hidden is deemed to be hidden enough. So you are probably in a good spot. Excuse me. Is that deemed to be hidden? I'm not sure if that's technically hidden. Hopefully that's hidden. And then, okay, I see you over there. You're nice and on your own, which probably means you're fairly easy to deal with. Hang on, I'm just going to take him out. 
if he wants to hold still at the very rear of the boat, which he probably does. Uh, and there we go. Off nice the edge shot, you go. 57. Nice. Hidden. There's one guy over there out of the way. You, my good man, are about to hold still by the water, aren't you? I bet you are. In the water he goes. Good. Hidden. Oh, oh, oh. Is, is he? Oh, is he? Is he? Is he? No. No. Shoot him. Bloody hell. I shot him between the legs. Okay. We've got the beginning of something that works here. I've found some good ways to take out a few of them. That guy, however, has been stabbed. So, beginning of the mission. Looks like, actually, a good first pick-off is you over there. You can be taken out nice and flipping easy. And then, what else do we have over there? We got this guy who's going to move into position straight after. I just need to figure out who's actually in a good position straight away to be taken out. You're not right now. You're not in a good position at all. You might be, actually. If I actually take out the padlock right now, he'll go over there. But that's not really... It's not hidden. To be honest. Okay, I'll give it a go. I'm just going to knock him into this here shipping container. We'll put him in there. We'll see if that's hidden enough or is someone else going to spot that. Are you going to see that? I'm not sure if you're going to see that. By any chance... Actually, you know what? I'm just going to put a bullet in the ground over here. If he'd like to go and investigate that, because a single bullet draws them to a location. And then... I can just put him into that the pile of rubbish, and that's deemed time, to be hidden. Which can slow down anybody I need to slow down. Which can be very, very useful indeed. I think you're about to move into your good position over there, aren't you? Yes, you are. You can just the go over there. Why is that getting out of hand? Ah, because a civilian totally finds that one, and he explodes. A civilian kill loses me a handful of points, and they're now freaking out as well. And that's about to go completely. Okay, we're on to something here. We now know we can't just put people inside shipping containers. It needs to be shipping containers with like the fiddly stuff on the front, the wavy things. But this is fine. I'm starting to see how to deal with every single individual guard. Guard number one. Over here, right at the beginning. This guy can just be taken out with a headshot the moment the mission begins. Guard number two. Who's the logical second target? That guy is about to move over towards there, which is good. And then as soon as he's dead, we can actually shoot the padlock off over there. Fine. So you're about to be right there. And you go down through window. Okay. Next up, I think I've actually got myself an idea, which is that padlock needs to actually come off. That's going to draw one person's attention. I'd like you guys to walk away, please. I need you guys to not see that. Turn away. Turn away. Turn away. And boom. He goes in there. And no one sees that. They won't discover the body. One of them is dead. An explosive would actually take out both of them at that point. And that guy over there is about to be in his good position for a headshot. If I'm just patient for a second. Goodbye. Lovely. Headshot. Plenty of points. Okay, next up, the guy down there walks the edge of the pier, but his friend will totally see that. Okay, so in which case, don't do that. I want to draw your attention over to here instead. Why don't you actually investigate that, my good man? And in to the rubbish you go. Nobody sees that. And yeah, that's a bit of a false friend. That guy's difficult to deal with. And actually, you know what? If you would just like to hold still, right? Yeah. I was actually going for the shot there, but that's potentially going to work anyway. And excuse me, in you go, hidden. Right, there's no bodies for that civilian to find at this point. That actually, yeah, I know they're having a meeting. It's 100% fine. Get in the water. Okay, good. That guy's now not over there. There's no one over at this part of the world. But there is a civilian right there, which is kind of annoying. Uh, you... I could take you out any time, but the body might be found. I'm a little bit concerned about that. I'll try and deal with you in a second. If the civilian would like to turn his back, that would be marvellous. But, hmm, leave him for now. He's not a priority. Right, there's this guy. I know what to do about this guy, which is if we could just actually uh, wait for a second for him to actually turn around over here. Activate that and... Well Boom! Done. 
I'm nice. He goes in there. More hidden. You are now in a position to be taken out flipping whenever. And those two... I'm a bit worried about those two. Not sure what to do about you. Potentially explosives down the line. So they're starting to move them. And that is... Yeah, that's you having a chat to that guy. We've still got over 12 minutes and we're in good shape. Now, actually, you know what? You hold there for a second. Very clever. Job done. Okay. This is good. This is very good. So now we're down to one guy over there already. Have I already done the the coffee thing, by the way? And okay, let's do the coffee thing. That's the easy one. Yeah, job done. Coffee. Wait. Was that done? Yes, there we go. Done has acknowledged it, therefore it's definitely fine. So we can now take out him. And Spider Lily, nice and easily. That just leaves Long Kwai, which shouldn't be too difficult to do with various boats. But I don't want to cause a general alert by dropping the boat on them. Not yet. And hello. This is a good time for you, presumably. It's gotta be. Yeah, you're way out of the way right now. And water. Good. There we go. And Davy Jones' locker almost done. Dumping people into water is worth bonus points. This is going well so far. This is going very, very well indeed. No general alert, and they don't seem at all suspicious of the fact that, you know, everybody's, like, not around, and, oh dear, hang on. I'd love to use the car. In fact, I'd love to do an explosive, but the body will be found. I don't want to ruin anything with that just yet. So he's going up to his office. Fine, don't worry about that. They're having a chat to each other. That's not going to be a problem. I'd love to drop the boat on them, but they'll get suspicious. There'll be bodies found, diddly diddly dee. Any chance you'd like to go and investigate a button if I was just to shoot this button right now? Because, would you like to go and investigate that? I bet you're flipping, would you know? I bet you'd love that. Go and investigate the button, you stupid bastard. Yeah, there we go. We can go and do some button work here. Alright, and now next up. Next button. The blade appears to be feeling quite ill. Yeah, there we go. Lure him over to there, fine. So he's now in the right position. Okay, we can deal with him in a second. The hostages are being transported and to the ship. next to up, now. I want to... Yes, I know they're being transported. Now I want him back over to this one. Right. Okay, and next up, I will need that button. That gets his attention. Right, in he goes. Job done. Seven and now we need to focus on this guy while he's still sick. And... Come on. Get him. Bloody hell, why are we not hitting him with bullets? Why? Why? 47! Why are you so bad at this? 47, he's being sick in a toilet, just shoot him! Colonel Thank Jimmy, you! Blade. Please tell me he's not about to come in here. Okay, don't come in here. Right, where's... where's she? Yeah, actually, where is she right now? Okay, he's not suspicious anymore. We've got one guard... Just here, by himself. But he's dangerously close by to... Ah, hang on. Hang on. There's probably, actually, uh, a thing I can hide right there. Yep, we got a hide spot. Okay, so I can put him in the hide spot. That's no problem at all. She's going to... Hang on. I bet if I take out the comms, that might be her trigger Taking to go and speak to him. So comms go down. Alright, we've now got ourselves a couple of targets right over there. Let's get them safely inside the shipping container. That's probably for the safest. Okay, who's left? We've got guard, guard, and actually there is a pile of rubbish right there. Okay, is she going to be really angry about the that comms array being down? Black. Is that AKA what she's actually Spider doing? Is that her thing at this point? And yeah, in the maybe... Now. I tell you what, if he were actually looking away. Yeah, I think she's angry that the dish is down. So, okay, that just changes her routine. Hopefully, she's now going to go and... Oh, okay, this is good. And no, no. Why don't you go and have a little look-see at that? Yeah, walk over there. Walk over there and wait. Good work, 47. Hidden. We're down to five good. good, 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 good. Next up, she's going to go to that guy's office all by herself. Now, I would like, yeah, this guy to just be put away into there, though. Then again, would you like to go and investigate that? No, that wasn't close enough by. And there's 
He's in the area with a lot of civilians. That's the problem. I don't like him Hostages one bit. Hostages have been secured inside the shipping container. You have to hurry, 47. Okay, he's secured inside the shipping container. But does that mean this guy's now all by himself? Potentially, yes. He might just guard the container. The other guy is now going with the main target. I'm not sure where he's going next. Okay, uh, that one can't be opened. That one can't be opened. I don't really want to... Where's everyone else? You're looking over there out of the way. You're looking over there out of the way. Okay. In which case, bullet. You, go and investigate that if you'd be so kind. And wait. And headshot. In we go. Nice. Be hidden well enough for the time okay. Down to two guards. One up top, one with secondary target. She now moves into this room. We just have to wait for the right moment. And hello, what's that on the wall? I don't know what that is, but there's something going on on the wall there, and... Great work, Headshot. 47. You are down to just three remaining targets. Okay, three targets. Two guards, one main target. Could, at this point, just go for the accident kill. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm ready to go for it. And let's just go for a nice headshot there. He's not hidden, but it is a headshot. Uh-oh. 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 Yep. And go... Accidents everywhere. Accidents everywhere. You can just go, actually. Oh, flip. Go. And go. Nice. Okay. Not perfect because that guy was spotted at the end. I thought he was more on his own than he was. But I'll flip and take it. That's still going to be a decent result. Okay, now I'm just mainly curious about the other things you can play around with. So, in particular, was it this one that has... Yes! The naval cannon. The naval cannon is an interesting sort of a thing. Right there. And yeah, okay, fine. So there's there's electricity right there, which is absolutely flipping lovely. And we can use, yeah, if you're not feeling like you care about civilians, you can use a lovely shockwave thing just to murder literally everybody. And I'd also like to, yeah, just draw attention to this spot right over here. And I said to that spot right over there, you're ruining everything. And no, go away. Everyone can just die, please. Uh-oh. Right, those guys are a little bit on the annoyed side, actually. So we should probably shoot you, shoot you, shoot you. And I think, actually, there's a special thing I saw in the actual achievements. Yes, yeah, she runs for the... Oh! I was kind of hoping I could get both of them at once. But uh, we need to take out the blade. He's going to have a nice chat to them first because he just feels like it. But then she flees for... She flees for, like, the car around the... Oh, he got to the helicopter first. Yeah, there's a special thing for actually dropping the sign on her. Okay, there's one thing I really do want to do. And that is use the shipping container to my advantage. So, where exactly is he going to be walking? Because that's got to be about right there. So, if we actually, yeah, hit the stop button. That's... That's probably a about right to hit him and then is that about right I mean, that's gonna be hang on is there a that's the shadow okay so it casts a shadow directly downwards we need to figure out exactly what his movement is like because uh, we need to oh that's gonna be a pain that's gonna be a pain to do is he going to actually walk directly under two or no he walks more like over three okay hang on hang on hang on just a bit more, a bit flipping more, and then is is he under it right now? He might be, but it was still moving. Right, okay, he passes under three, gotcha. Problem is, you've got to stop it when you're not looking at it, because yeah, the controls aren't where it is. So, it's currently at one, in towards two, so if I start trying to stop it about now, it'll probably stop at about three... Yes. Okay, that's probably in a good spot right there. So next up, we need to... Well, in a perfect world, we need to get rid of the workers. Because, yeah, they can actually raise the alarm, which is uh, mildly annoying. Right. Wait for him to be coming in this way. And we need to make sure we hit not just him, we also hit his friends. So, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Just one more second. And about there. And... Oh! 
okay, but you also need to go down. And you need to go down. Anyone else? And bloody hell, you ideally need to be taken out first. Okay, so there's like four different guards that see something. Oh, bloody hell, that's... Okay, that's not easy to do, silent assassin styly. Also, you can do it, I think, over and over again. Can you do that over and over again? Or is that just a one-off thing? Hang on, we need to check that. That's, that's very important. Oh, you can keep doing that. So maybe actually just sniping him off the moment he arrives is not the right way to go. Because there might be an easier way to do this. Like, for example, hang on. Would you just like to, yeah, be right there for this button to be pushed? Yeah, I bet you... No, you were not just not quite in the right... Screw you! So the shipping container, that can actually move... Yeah, that can move side to side. And it can smash up and down at any point. Including right over there. Which arguably feels like it's... Oh, hang on. There's also a bike over there. What does that do? Okay. Is that... Aha! Oil slick. Fine. So there's a nice oil slick we can potentially use right there. So this thing can smash up and down anywhere. Meaning potentially is the better option to actually, uh, yeah, try and actually wait for him to be walking to his office to get in. Because if there's a perfectly legit accident, does anybody care about that? Because that there is a corpse, but it's totally an accident. Also, that is... Ah, that's a fire extinguisher that was over there. Okay, so now we know what... That is. It's a big fire extinguisher explosion. And okay, fine. It's a worker, not a guard. But I kind of want to just do this anyway. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff. Also, you um just keep being shocked. You can keep shooting them until they end up where you want them to end up. So get, get in the... Get in the flipping. Get in the thing. Get in the rubbish pile. Get in the pile. Anytime you're ready. In the... Never mind. 47. Now, the big question is, how would we actually take out Kwai with the smashy thing? Because I would like to take out everyone with the smashy thing. But I feel like that's going to take a little bit of setup to actually do. Though, uh, by the way, while we're actually just like, you know, right here, we may as well take you out. Because why not? And then, yeah, we've got another guy who we can take out super easily right here. And then you just hold still. Hold still. And then this is fine. We can salvage this. Get in there. Get in there. Get. Never mind. We can't salvage this. But we almost salvaged this. Get in the. Get. Get in the. Get behind the. Okay. You've really got to nail that shot. Alright. Let's just start moving that thing over there. Because I feel like that side of the map is a lot quieter than the other side. Alright. This is definitely the right way to go. And... As for you, no, I need you to be more over the water before we actually take you out. And no, that's a bad time to take out you because you see it. So let's just wait for you to be over there. And in a moment, actually, yeah, we've got a good chance to take out a few of the outliers right now. So he is now in a good position right there. And I believe you are now nice moving shot. into your good position Right, no, missed my chance with you, but you feel like you're in a good position. Like no, you darn it, you've just moved away as well. Fun, if I'd have been a bit faster, I might have been able to take out a few of them right there. Also, excuse me, no, I'd like you to come and investigate that, if you'd be so kind. Go and investigate that, actually. Yeah, you just go and do that. Look at that. I'd like you to look away, please. Look away. I'm hoping he's looking away right now, because I'm about to take the shots. Good, he did. I might just actually take out the other guys anyway, and no, actually, they're way out of the way. There's no point. I don't want to take out you just yet, because, well, unless I could blow you into the water. No, I'd rather wait for you to be next to the rubbish tip yourself. Okay, so right now, that is... Hang on, where's the thing? Ah, there it is. Okay, so it's way over there, right on the extreme, right now. I'm just not quite sure when this guy goes over there. Possibly, if nothing interrupts him, he will do given enough time. Ah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Where's the... Uh-oh, where is it right now? Where is it right now? Where is it right now? I think this is a... This is a good moment to potentially drop the thing on him. And... 47, you're about to be spotted. Who else knows about this? 
Who else knows about this? No, no, no! Screw you, random worker! Dropping the thing on all of them is so bloody tricky. Just because it draws so much attention, the workers flipping just go crazy for it. Okay, take you out. And I want you dead to one of these little things right here. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. In she comes, 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 in she comes. About now! Yes, nice! Okay, well, it's not perfect, but we killed one person by dropping the thing on them. We killed another person by hitting them with a gate. I'll flip it, take it, I guess. And of course, as is typical for the sniper levels, there's a whole bunch of little Easter eggs dotted around. So presumably there are nine rats that need eliminating. I didn't see a single flipping one. Open the containers, I did that. Codename Crane. Fine, so I'm guessing you need to kill people, not just with the crane, but also with the crane in positions four and seven. Spot on. I found one evil duck. Apparently there's like nine more. And there's totally more you can do to interrupt their routine, Chef. Because yeah, if you've taken Kwai out, then it would appear that Ray Thack is the one that actually takes the hostages onto the boat, which might change things up a little bit open up some new opportunities. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave some of that for you to find because this is a free update to Hitman 2, so if you've got Hitman 2, you've got access to this, and yeah, I like the sniper missions. Honestly, I wouldn't mind at all if they actually made a spin-off game There was nothing but these sniper missions because they're interesting, it's fun to learn all the different routines, figure out interesting ways to interact with the world. They're good stuff, I do rather enjoy them. And I am glad about that too, because I feel like the elusive targets for Season 2 haven't been quite as interesting as the ones for Season 1. It just feels like there's not quite as much effort going into making them a bit different and unique and interesting. So, bit of a shame about that. Yes, I do see the Black Hat is there. That's not a new elusive target, I remember that one. That's one of the ones from Paris. Though, sadly, my original genius tactic of shoot them from the floor below with the sniper rifle that shoots for everything doesn't actually work anymore because they realized that sniper rifle was hilariously broken and changed it. So that was a real flipping shame as far as I'm concerned. But uh, yeah, that's one of the old ones. So I am glad they're still adding in new content for Sniper Assassin. As I say, I'd be open to a whole game of this sort of thing, and that would be easier to put together than a typical Hitman game. So I do hope that's something that IO considers at some point, because the Sniper Assassin stuff is very, very interesting indeed. I hope we get a third map as well. It would be nice to get a third. I will keep my eye on that, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm sure there will be more Hitman 2 in the future as well. Because the modern Hitman as a franchise just seems to be a series of games that gets lots of extra stuff after it launches. And that is really rather lovely. Long may it continue. Hopefully, we will see more of that sort of thing in the future. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nut. And this has been Hitman 2 with Sniper Assassin. Thank you very much. And goodbye. No, sadly, I cannot be the Santa Claus of murder tonight. So apparently, even though this thing is... Oh, no, no, you can't. No, you most certainly can't. Okay. Is that the symbol meaning I'm about to pull her over? Yep, there we are. There we... Oh! I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead.